And I'm back. Sorry if I seem a little congested. I've been sick for the past two days, but I'm getting over that now. Just want to give an update where I left off on this coffee painting. I did darken up some more of the rocks. I put some kind of land masses in the background along the horizon. Uh, a couple reflections or shadows, if you will, in the water here. Uh, originally, I was going to have deer or panthers jumping from rock to rock, but I started just making some kind of form here. And I remember, I think it's like a mud skipper fish or something like that. So I just kind of made some kind of fish form here. Yeah, it's a rock skipper. Why not? But yeah, so again, I don't not like this, but I think I'll put it to the side for now and maybe paint over in color with acrylic. So yeah, that that was interesting. I might try it again, maybe with something different. Maybe uh, maybe I'll use cappuccino or something next time or espresso. Yeah, something stronger. But uh, yeah, so that was it. That was my first attempt at painting something with coffee. So, Zoe, if you're watching, if you have canvas but you don't have paint, make some coffee. You know what to do. And you could say, oh, Uncle Steven, I have paint but I don't have canvas. Hey, not a problem. I got you. Hold on. So last year, we had our uh, bathroom remodeled. And we went with some kind of uh, ocean kind of theme. And my girlfriend saw some pictures of jellyfish and octopus, stuff like that, octopi, whatever portal that is. And we wanted to get those printed up on canvas. And I said, well, no, no, I can paint. So I got some pallets from where we take our cars to get work done, the garage. And I just went in and asked and said, hey, do you, you know, can I scab a pallet or two they have? He was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And most of the time, 90% of the time, if you go somewhere where they have pallets on the side of their buildings and you ask them for a pallet or two, they'll, pro they'll probably just give them to you. I'm like, I didn't have to pay anything for these. He's like, yeah, yeah, take them. So, of course, I took the better ones, which, I don't know, weren't all that great, but still they were something. So, I brought them home and I tore the boards off with tender, loving care and nailed them onto two other boards that ran horizontal and drew this out and painted it right on there. Obviously a jellyfish, a little bit of clear coat over it. I think I did three or four layers, all, like all sides because it's in the bathroom. It, even though we have a fan in there, you know, for moisture reasons, I did that. So that was it. And I put two hooks on the back, one each side, and got some, uh, I think it's half inch rope and attached that to both the sides and hung, up, hung it up on hooks. So that's the jellyfish. And the other one, hey, the other one, same thing with the boards and how I put together and stuff. You know, just nail them together. Uh, I did an octopus. These are about, I think, a foot and a half. This one's about a foot and a half by maybe 30 inches long. Something like that. And the other one, I believe, is a foot by 30 inches long. Not perfect. You can tell by the bottom here. Um, you know, on the bottom. It's not perfect. I'm not a carpenter. You know, just basic straight lines. Nail it together. Nothing perfect. Nothing that looks store-bought. And again, three or four coats of clear coat. And that was that. And just because it's right underneath it, our home was built in 1920. So we have radiators. And obviously there's one in the bathroom too. So I made this have some scrap wood that we had, stuff like that. Got some netting from Walmart. More of the, uh, I think that's one inch rope instead. Had to go around the sides, tied them on. Hot glued some shells here and there, you can see that. And some basic uh, C shell related things on top. But yeah, so that's that. So yeah, basically you could paint on almost anything. 
we're artists. We have that freedom to do that. It's all good. But yeah, so that is it for today. I'll be doing an update video on the potatoes next. They're, they're very close to be getting put outside if it stays warm enough. And if it stop, yeah, ever stops snowing here, I'll show you the yard, what that looks like now, and what I intend to add to that. So I will see you later.